Hello everyone, I'm just doing a quick video for releasing the latest version of Smash Bros. Infinite. Uh, it's actually been out since January, but I've been very busy, so I'm just now getting to putting a YouTube video up for it. Uh, nothing fancy this time, which is why I'm doing a bit of a uh, narration here to sum everything up. It's a lot quicker for me to just record it all than to place all the little subtitles, and I really don't have as much time as I used to for setting all that up. Um, so this was actually released in at the beginning of January, so if you already have the latest version released on my Facebook, you're already good to go. Uh, for those of you that just follow me on YouTube though, this is the most recent and up to date. I'm calling it 2.5 because I didn't really get to do everything I wanted to do. I'm attending college now on a daily basis and then on the weekends I have to work. So I have very little free time to myself to actually get anything else done. So I wanted to basically release what I have now instead of just keeping everyone waiting longer and longer and longer for uh, the inevitable future, but I have no idea when that would be. I still plan to keep working on Infinite, uh, just not as much as before. I really don't have the time right now. I don't know when I'm going to really pick it up again. I'm trying to basically do it in my free time when I'm motivated to do it. Uh, between work and school, I don't really have as much motivation to work on this as well. But uh, when the time comes that I feel like fixing something up and polishing something up, I do have a list of stuff that I know needs to be worked on. Uh, the next update that'll come along probably won't be anything too major. I'm going to focus more on moveset polishing and bug fixes. But um, if the alternate stage loader gets fixed up and works with regular Brawl and Brawl X, I'll definitely try to squeeze in the time to get that done. Uh, having a third set of alternate stages was a big want of mine for this release. But unfortunately, I misunderstood how my current code works, and I can't actually add any more stages uh, to any other button combinations with how it's set up now. The original code actually had a bug in it that was never fixed. The uh, superior alternate stage loader code is incompatible with Brawl X, so I've never been able to implement it in the pack. Uh, there is a team working on it, but I'm waiting on them to finish it up before I can use it myself. Um... I have no idea when that's going to be done. Uh, the uh, main fellow who's working on it there, I forget his name at the moment. I don't actually have it on me, unfortunately. Uh, I'll include a uh, mention of him in the comments. Uh, sorry, not in the comments, the description. But uh, he too has a lot on his plate, so and is also doing it in his free time. So if and when that comes to be, so be it. But uh, I wouldn't hold anyone's breath for the time being. Uh, in terms of this version, um, I did update Waluigi and Goku to their more recent versions. Um, I know a very uh, awesome looking new version of Ryu just came out yesterday uh, at the time of recording. However, I do not have the time to put that in right now. I have it downloaded and ready to replace for the future, but... Uh, uh, it's not going to be ready for this version, of course. Uh, I did some other fixes that were suggested to me, which are all listed in the change log. Uh, there's been some bug fixes, some crashes I tried to fix. I didn't get to everything that people reported, but I tried to get to the most important ones. I changed around Ichigo's moveset completely, but I think I'm going to revert it and fix it up in the future. I also have plans of replacing Young Link, but I never got around to doing that so he's left as is for now. You'll notice that some of Toon Link's new costumes are actually from Young Link's costumes that I set up. That's basically because I did plan to replace them all together, but uh, I never had the time to do that. Um, I took my hand with sound effects replacements this time too. Uh, I had to set up the newer Goku sound effects myself to work with Brawl X. Uh, I think I did an alright job, all things considered, but... Uh, you know, I'll let everyone be the judge of that. Uh, I did a fix for single player mode. Uh, stock icons are now directed to a single icon. Uh, in which case now the game won't crash when you highlight over certain icons on the classic mode or all-star mode. Unfortunately, I also changed around everybody's cosmetic IDs in order to put a blank set of 
IDs in between each character. Each character usually utilizes about 10 ID spaces for their costumes, but uh, I basically have 20 allocated to each character now. Uh, I can't use all 20 with uh, the current resources available to me, but I've got everybody up to 14 different models to choose for costumes, including the default. Because I've done this though, I've switched around all the cosmetics, which means that all of the victory videos that would play at the end of Classic and All-Star are still in their original slots. I can't move those around because the alternate file letter loader code doesn't load video files off SD cards. So, unfortunately, though I fixed the crash to load into Classic Mode, there's now a crash at the end when you get out of Classic Mode uh, after clearing it. However, I did as much as I could to make that at least a lot more playable than before. Um, in terms of that, I also tried to make it so Classic Mode should be fully playable with the hackless version and the 2GB SD version of the pack as well. I changed around which uh, files that I deleted to make room, and I believe all of the ones I deleted are only used in classic, at the end of classic if you're fighting uh, when you go to fight Master Hand, and I believe on Wi-Fi, and possibly in subspace, which Brawlex and Ultimate Costumes are compatible with anyway. Um, it should be a lot more compatible now, though. I listed which cases it should crash in the README, but uh, I believe the first five characters should always work no matter what. But um, it, it varies, I believe, depending. I believe some. I think some of the base characters work with any of their costumes. I'm not sure how bad I had to cut that back. It's. I've been very busy, so I don't remember it all entirely. It is all listed in the README and in the documentation, however, so if you're curious about that and you want to look that up before experiencing Crash yourself, go right ahead. If you don't care about single-player mode, it's not uh, relevant to you anyway. Um, other than that, so I got a lot more extra costumes in there. I didn't really change any movesets around aside from updates and fixes. Um, I cleaned up instructions. Uh, each archive now has instructions specifically detailed to whichever version you're trying to load. I have the Dolphin version has instructions just for loading up Dolphin. The 4 gig version has instructions just for loading up with an SDHC. Hackless just has hackless instructions. So when you go to read the step by step, it's not as confusing anymore. There's no if you're doing it this way, if you're doing it this way. It's just do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I, I've had a lot of difficulty with people setting things up, and I've had a lot of complaints about it being confusing to follow. So I took all of that into account, and I tried my best to make it make a lot more sense for everyone. Uh, if you know how to do this stuff and load up raw mods anyway, once again, not relevant to you, but uh, to the average user, hopefully that makes things easier for you. Uh, as usual, I try to reply to all the comments I get. YouTube doesn't always tell me when you comment though, so I highly recommend you pay, uh, leave a message on my Facebook page. I typically get all of those messages, but even now with how busy I am, uh, some of them might slip under my radar, though I'm more likely to see a message on Facebook than I am a message on YouTube. Not to say that I won't see them on YouTube at all, but if you really want to get my attention, uh, more likely to get me there. Um, but uh, I do have a full list of all the costumes that have been changed or added. Um, aside from... Uh, if you want to check out the new ones added, you can see uh, in the costume section of the documentation, I believe it slots 10, um, 10, 11, and dark and fake that I've utilized in order to expand the, uh, the amount there. But it lists each character I added in. Uh, dark is actually the costume used... For, oh, sorry, not dark and fake. Uh, dark and spy that I've used. Dark is the costume that's used normally for the end of Subspace Emissary. A lot of people call them Emerald costumes. Um, so I've utilized that slot. And Spy is the slot that's used for Invisible Melee. Or Invisible Brawl, sorry. Um, and since that's not compatible with everyone, I decided to use that as well. 
Uh, other than that, this is just a video of some generic gameplay, so... Uh, nothing in particular here, I just did some random matches to give you something to look at. Uh, I'll provide the change log in the description so you can see what's different from the last version. Uh, if there's any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a message. Um, other than that, not much else has changed from before. Uh, full credits, as always, are included with the README. I've got them by every costume used, every moveset used, every stage used. If anything is wrong, or uh, if there's anything missing in any of that, let me know. I'll fix that up right away. Um, and another reminder there that I like to always throw out, uh, this isn't all made by hand by me. Uh, I put this all together. I set it all up to work with each other. It's a mod pack, but... Um, I, I certainly haven't made every single alt costume from scratch, every moveset from scratch. And if you want to find out the people who have done all that, uh, I've got their names all listed in the documentation. You can look them up on uh, the Kitty Corp Meow Mix forums there, on the Brawl Vault, and it's pretty easy to find them there. Uh, but if there's any questions, comments, etc., leave a comment below or leave a comment on my Facebook. I'll try to get back to you either way. Um, I don't know when I'll have the next version up. I like to try to do it by yearly, but I really don't think I'll have one ready for the middle of the year. At least not one that's very uh, worthy of being considered a new update. I might try to do one anyway, a small update with just some moveset fixes, some bug fixes. But um, I'm not going to set any deadlines or any uh, promise any timeline because I, I really... Uh, I've got to keep my steadies first right now and... Uh, when it happens, it'll happen. Uh, but thank you for taking your time to listen. Thank you for downloading and playing. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions. Let me know if you find any bugs, any glitches, any crashes. Uh, I do want to fix as many crashes as possible. That's always been a very high priority of mine. So uh, anything like that, I will try to fix it up ASAP. But I don't know when I'll actually have a public release available. So thanks for your time and enjoy.
Sure. 